Remember, the scout's motto is be prepared. Next up, and it's our how-to guide. And this week, we are showing you the do's and don'ts, but let's be honest here, mainly don'ts of DIYing. <laughs> DIY stands for do it yourself. And what that it is, is destroy your home, wreck your building, and make a right mess of your living room. Rule one, always use the right tools for the job. Our job is to entertain you, so we've gathered together some right tools. Tools like this. This. And this. Don't worry, you wouldn't be the first person to turn up to a hospital after accidentally falling on a Henry Hoover. My granddad's in there practically every weekend. Rule two, be innovative. Why not create space by knocking two rooms together? Just make sure your neighbours are on board with the plan before you get started. Maureen from next door is absolutely going to love this. Rule three, remember step ladders are not only expensive, they are also incredibly dangerous. So do yourself a favor and use a safety chair like this. That's much better. After all, if this lazy DIYer had simply taken the trouble to stack a few swivel chairs on top of each other, <laughs> he wouldn't find himself in this pickle. Look and learn, team. Rule four, never forget that the force of gravity doesn't just apply to other people. And finally, rule five, always make the best of things. This might look bad, but the estate agent still described this house as a delightful non-bedroom property with open plan kitchen and living room, period features, and a built-in garage. <laughs> He's making her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. There's only one thing I like better than being in the great outdoors, and that's being indoors. Curled up in front of the telly where no wildlife or hillbillies can get me. Ah. But even I can appreciate the appeal of the natural world when I see relaxing scenes like this. Ah, serenity. Being out of the country brings you closer to nature, because what could be more natural <laughs> than catching trench foot from a great big puddle? Or feeding the fish with your own shattered teeth? Here's an outdoor survival tip. Remember, the scout's motto is be prepared. So hopefully, this scout leader is prepared to get another job. The team leader describes what you are seeing as a homemade raft, while the piranha that lives in this lake call it... <laughs> scout chowder. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. There are no piranha in that lake. Not since the toxic chemicals from the local poison factory killed them all. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what this guy is doing. Oh, yes, I see. He's doing what us outdoors men call... <laughs> drowning. 